Good morning, Maddie. Can you say good morning? You can't. Are you tired? Yeah. You are. <laughs> hey, guys. So, it is 8 o'clock. We are up, and um, I had to get up and get Jacob out the door with Jimmy off to school. And Jacob always leaves his bedroom light on. Let me turn that off. Um, so, yes. Maddie is up, and we are, last night, right before going to bed, she um, wanted, literally, she wanted to take Play-Doh into the bed with her. So, I made her a deal that we would leave the Play-Doh in the hallway that way that she could play with it as soon as she got up in the morning. And that was okay with her. So now she's got her Play-Doh. I had to get her a blanket. Let me, let me turn, wait, let me, let me turn your chair around. There you go. There you go. She was cold. Okay. So now she's got her Play-Doh. She's gonna play with her Play-Doh. Where'd that go? What? Wait. Purple? Purple. That's purple. Uh, and I'm going to take advantage of a little bit of time and do a little bit of editing before Mason gets up. This is pink. Pink. Yeah. Pink. There you go. No, purple. You want the lid back on? Yeah. Here. Here. Put that in there. kids love play-doh all right so I'm gonna take some time to do a little bit of video editing and I've already started a little bit of other work um, planning like a yeah planning in my planner so we're off to a good start had some coffee what where's what go this one that's blue Blue. Blue. All right, guys. I am ready for the day, and now I am getting ready to um, tackle a few things. I've got some high hopes for today and a lot of expectation of myself, so we'll see if that pans out. I'm going to try and get my recipe binder down. I kind of crammed some stuff up here in this cabinet. All right. Let me sit you guys down for a minute. Um, so my husband picked up a whole cut up chicken and I'm going to have to take this out. Okay. That was an ordeal. So anyway, like I was saying, um, my husband bought a whole chicken last night for me to cook in the crock pot today. So that's the plan. I have tons of goals today things I want to get done um, since we are home again not at CC but Jacob is there so I have to take advantage of this time and try to get some things done um, I'd really like to start step one with the KonMari method in my clothing today it's a little bit intimidating I'm gonna set you guys in this cabinet now it's a little intimidating just because I know it's going to be a like time consuming process, but maybe not terribly time consuming if I just tackle it, you know what I mean? So I might start that today, but first I have to get dinner on because that frees up so much time down the road and I need to find my crock pot whole chicken recipe. Sour, Mom. Sour. Sour. What's sour? Baked slow cooker chicken. It's basically salt, pepper, and paprika. You know, you could throw some olive oil on it. And then um, you put it in the crock pot on top of some aluminum foil balls, like big aluminum foil balls. You cook on high for an hour and then low for eight to ten, but I'll probably just do I'll probably just do high because it's already almost noon. So we'll just cook on on high. Um 
<clears throat> yeah, that's the plan. Super simple. It doesn't get much easier than that. Are you feeding the Kit Kat? Yeah. Oh my word. Check this out. You made a bit of a mess, didn't you? tore the entire curtain rod down out of the wall. What were you doing? Were you hiding in there? Honey. You can't do that. You just tore the whole thing out of the wall, Maddie. Sorry. Oh. Girl and girl. There's never a dull moment. All right, so here's how things go. I got my crock pot full with my chicken and I was getting ready to just straighten the kitchen up real quick and then head upstairs to maybe start tidying my bedroom for the big clothing tidy. When I noticed that in the basket under my sink there was like staining water in the basket so I was trying to figure out if I had a leak with like one of my cleaners or what happened and so I've discovered that I have a major leak under my sink so here is now what I've done pulled everything out look at that I've got like there's water it's coming from here look how gross this is um, so I am going to have to take a look and see if I can just go get a wrench and tighten that seal and see if that fixes the problem or if it's a more complex issue. Alright guys, so I ended up organizing underneath the kitchen sink, which I knew I would do, and I am all done now. I still have a mess in here to clean up, but it's at least cleaned up, organized, and I think I fixed the leak. It just needs to be tightened, basically, so I'm going to show you guys under the sink. So here is the door. I've got a place for the drain plug, the brush, and my gloves. And then here is the way I have got it organized underneath. I'll just give you a peek. My husband's wire brush. And then I have this little container here for grocery bags. Um, this pull-out container for our dish towels. 
our trash bags. And then down here is cooktop cleaner, um, sponges, and I have an extra little Castile soap here. And then up here I have it uh, labeled for dish soap, dishwasher detergent, all-purpose uh, surface cleaner, and hand soap. So that is it. That is all I'm going to keep under there. Everything else was uh, cleaners and also some seasonal um, items like uh, kitchen towels and stuff that were Christmas and Halloween and all kind of stuff that did not belong under there at all. I have, um, oh my camera battery died. Sorry for the abrupt cut off, but I've charged it a little bit again and I say that every single day I'm aware of this. Um, but anyway, I'm just in the mood to make stuff. So I've got my chicken going. I'm going to make some homemade stuffing and um, I think I'm going to make an apple crisp. So I was just looking up a good recipe and I think I found one that I have all of the ingredients to for the most part except for, um, let's see. I'm out of brown sugar, but I can make brown sugar with regular sugar and molasses, which I uh, actually have that I don't usually have, so I'm kind of shocked about that. But um, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and make some apple crisp, which I'm excited about. I've been wanting to make apple crisp for a few days. Right, guys the apple crisp smells so good the whole house smells like apples it is amazing and I am really happy with the fact that the crust looks like it's a hard crispy crust because that is what I really wanted in this apple crisp but I did not want it to be mushy or soggy the way it was the last time I made it in my crock pot it was just really mushy so I wanted to have it nice and firm and crunchy and this is what it looks like so here it is. So the top does have some pecans, chopped pecans mixed in. Um, and I'm just going to get a spoon. And then we can look at what's kind of in there. So it's super hot. I just took it out. And that looks amazing. Now, I did not do the caramel drizzle. Um, it called to make like a caramel sauce using caramel candies, and I did not have any of those. But honestly, I don't think that this is going to need anything else. It looks absolutely delicious. So it's got that crunchy topping, and then inside it's got a really moist um, and tender apples. I also have a little bit of, um, what do we have, butter pecan ice cream. <gasps> I'm thinking that will go perfectly. So I'm excited to have a little apple crisp snack before dinner tonight. And maybe some after dinner too. <laughs> um, 
I'm gonna go ahead and give the kids some and see if they like it. What? Mason's staying in his jammies all day today. Do you want some apple crisp and ice cream? Uh, what, is, what does it look like? It looks like this. Oh. Do you want me to put some in a bowl so you can see it a little bit better? Uh, I guess I'll have some. Does it smell delicious? Yes. <laughs> So Jacob just got home from school. Um, my friend Jolie brought him home. She is so precious and I just appreciate her so much for her doing that. Um, so she brought him home and now I am making some stuffing. And the boys are outside and Maddie's outside. They're uh, working with daddy's new pressure washer. He had to have a new pressure washer for work. And so he's messing with that. Um, and I'm trying to think of what else we're going to have with dinner. We're having chicken and stuffing. And I may steam some carrots. I haven't decided yet. Let's see. Alright, here's dinner. Here's the stuffing, the steamed carrots, and the roasted um, chicken. Looking yummy.